Yo, what is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video took over 40 hours to make, so if you enjoyed, make sure to give it a little like. And with that out of the way, enjoy the video. So the first thing on the list in this episode is to complete Western Provinces Diaries and Kandarin Diaries. Now if you're unfamiliar with both of them, the most annoying things on these diaries is first on Western Provinces, you have you have to catch a thousand chompies, which is what I'm doing in this clip. And in Kandarin, you need to get the roll 5 in Barbarian Assault in every roll, and that one takes a long time if you're in an unorganized team. However, the first thing we tackle is a thousand chompies. Uh, the, the thousand freaking birds chompies and um, the best place to catch them is just southwest of castle wars uh, on the location you see on the screen it is the best spot and uh, i was done with it pretty quickly i've done it in multiple accounts before so it wasn't too big of an issue and uh, with that one out of the way we get to complete western provinces claiming the birds from rents eventually i will come back to this place because i will have to catch about four thousand of jumpy birds just so i get all the hats that's when we're gonna be fully completing the connection log but i do claim my rewards for completing the the achievement diary put it on rune crafting and get the level out of it so we are now 87 rune crafting which is beautiful and here you can see on the collection log we have 13 out of 18 hats as i said i have to catch 3000 more in the future we're obviously gonna get for the chompy pet as well after that i decided to afk a little bit got myself enough of salt to burn braziers all around the game if you don't know what this does basically it just makes everything easier is um is a reward from completing something with my arm quest i i don't my arm is great advent i don't freaking know the quest name from the top of my mind but i light braziers all around the runescape the most important and notable one here will be the godwares dungeon one i'll be using that one a lot if you don't know what it does basically you do not lose stats when you go to godwares which is awesome that brazier is probably the only useful one and in the, this one i forgot to unnote the steel bars so i never actually light it and then after that, I had to get myself Chewed Bones. We're now working on Kandarin Diaries. Got myself Chewed Bones, 1 in 200 chance of receiving a Dragon Full Helm. Uh, and then after this, this was the last thing I had to do before I had to get a roll 5 in every single Barbarian Assault roll. And uh, that was quite a grind. That took me like the whole afternoon. Um, but yeah, as you're going to be able to see, I ended up completing that one in a little bit as well putting entire afternoon in a couple of seconds in this video just because I do not want to extend it but basically I did barbarian assault with a bunch of randoms I did a couple of games with barbarian service guys and a couple of games with just friends ended up doing it for I'd say solid eight hours plus just with randoms I helped out level 70 guys I didn't mind it I just enjoyed the game and I will eventually have to return to it because I will be going for all the unique cosmetic items alongside with the pet that's gonna be in the future perhaps I'll be joining the barbarian assault guys who knows maybe we're gonna schedule something out um, but as you're able to see we finally end up getting roll five in everything I never intended to put that in a video, but I just think it was hilarious. So if you didn't notice yet, I'm voice commentating over uh, all of all of that I recorded. I always do that when I visit my parents because I still play the game, but I just cannot really annoy people. Either way, end up claiming my rewards here. Get a little bit of a room crafting experience. Uh, but yeah, that, that I don't know what that reaction was. After the entire afternoon, I started jamming on a RuneScape song. I just... I don't know, but anyways, let's continue with the video. You know what I say, hard work always pays off. We're talking to Miss Twiggy right over here, and she's gonna give us an achievement cape. I already have this on my Iron Man, so it doesn't feel as special, but this is probably one of my favorite capes. I guess Inferno one would be better. I don't know how it feels to have it, but this is the coolest emote in the game. Unfortunately, Twiggy's bugging right through it, uh, but that's honestly the coolest emote in the game, in my opinion. It is... It is so good. Um, but yeah, now this is out of the way. All the quests are out of the way. And now we can actually start working on the collection log. 
First thing I decided to do though is finish an agility level. I was about 200k XP off 90 and I decided, you know what, let's knock this one out of the way. So here is level 90 agility. I no longer have to boost to use RD course, which is beautiful, uh, but I will probably still be using pies just to prevent me from failing. So at that point in the video, we start working towards getting 99 Slayer. Obviously, we still to have uh, we still have to get a couple of uniques from the superiors, and we also do want to get all the possible boss tasks because the more boss tasks we do now, uh, the easier it will be to complete collection log. Obviously, it's easier to kill bosses on tasks rather than off tasks. So the whole idea is. Well, while I'm doing Konar is to finish the Hydras and then after that it's obviously to finish just all the other bosses. Um, I get pretty lucky here, I end up getting Hydras, uh, which is what I was after. Then once again I hit up my man Michael, he lands me the Tebow and we go on a nice Hydra slaying spree. So I'll be displaying the profit I make with each inventory in the video. So first off 900k and... I got a lot better at Hydras, obviously the more you do them the easier it gets, I at this point just honestly don't even need to bring food anymore, uh, but yeah 700k in the next trip, 800k in the next trip and um, 960k in the next trip, so basically I still don't have a unique at this point in the video, however that is going to change, a little bit of a spoiler, we end up getting a nice little farming level here, I am now doing farming runs every single morning. Um, it is a nice little thing I decided to start doing again. I'm not doing them on my Iron Man at the moment because I'm going straight to 99 room crafting. I'm doing nothing else. However, after that, I'll start doing farm runs every morning again. So 600k trip there, probably a little bit of a bad one. 1.3 million trip here, 1.4 million actually, even over. A beautiful trip. And then 1.3 million had two back-to-back -back great trips there. And... Um, at some point here I should be receiving an item, however this has been a, such a long like uh, freaking video already that I don't really know when I get it, but as you can see money flowing in, this obviously takes a lot of time to complete, I'm spending 20 minutes to put 3 seconds in the video, um, but as you can see a lot of 1 mil trips, um, definitely changed my standpoints on Hydra a little bit and here it finally is our first Hydra unique at KC379, almost 279. Um, we get ourselves a Hydra Leather. So I didn't know about the price of this thing. I was hoping to get like 2 mil for it. Ended up being 7.4 mil. So not bad at all. Probably could have waited and sold it for more. But just had no idea about the prices. And um, this is one of the final trips. 1 million in the end. Right so here. due to popular demand... I will not be showing hardcore Iron Man clips and my regular Iron Man clips in this episode. A lot of people in the comment section and in general want to see the hardcore Iron Man videos return and uh, I'm doing you guys a favor. I'm now recording both my Iron Man and both my hardcore Iron Man separately and I'll be making full just hardcore Iron Man specific videos for you guys in the very near future. I'm really excited for that. I did a lot of progress while I was... Um, playing my main I also obviously always play my Iron Man at the same time and when I'm not bossing I also play the hardcore Iron Man so my priority my priorities are still main then Iron Man and then hardcore Iron Man so for example when I'm doing Hydras on main I'll do rune crafting on Iron Man and I will not be playing hardcore when I'm doing regular Slayer on my main however I will be playing Iron Man and I will still be playing my hardcore um, as you can see here on the top part of the screen we've gained 1.5 million rune crafting experience uh, without moving to any different location and I'm nearly 93 so I'm currently going for 99 uh, and then I'll be selling all of the solar runes and then I'll go for 99 construction right now we made about 10 million we have about 10 million in bank I should expect about 30 million I think by the end of all of that grind and that should be enough to finish my um 90 to 99 construction of because I already have enough planks I think for about 95 um, if I did my calculation correctly, if I failed my calculations, we can always do stuff to make money. That is no problem at all. But as I said, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. I do hope you don't mind the post commentary too much. I do these just about every once in three months or so. Basically every time I visit my parents. However, this time my parents went skiing. Therefore, someone has to kind of take care of the grandma. Therefore, I am now home. Um... So I cannot, I wasn't able to stream for this week and uh, 
I will, uh, you know, I will just upload this video, which is basically a very big video if I were to record it all the time. However, I just put a lot of content into this 10 minutes, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll see you very soon, I think in Thursday, I'll be back at my place uh, recording, streaming, all that good stuff, and um, I'm really excited for the future.